Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Because now faith has already been an issue in this campaign, with committed Christian and Liberal Democrat leader Tim Farron having to clarify his position on gay sex. He doesn't think it's a sin. But there is a party standing in this election that's making a pitch specifically for the Christian vote, and that's the Christian People's Alliance. Now, the party was founded in 2000. It says it's focused on helping the poor and the persecuted. It has around 300 followers on Twitter. Some of their key policies include reversing benefit changes for the disabled and scrapping the nuclear deterrent. It's concerned about countries that allow persecution of Christians and wants to halt foreign aid to them. On social issues, the party is against abortion and against same-sex marriage. Now, joining us today is Sidney Cordell, who is the leader of the Christian People's Alliance. Welcome to the programme. So let's run through those policies. You're anti-Trident. You want to get rid of nuclear weapons. Any other weapons? No, our policy is that we should have um, a missile shield. It's interesting. The America's under threat from North Korea. And what have they done? They put missile shield into South Korea. At the moment, our policy is mutually assured destruction. That may have worked when uh, we had Russia was the only country with nuclear weapons. It was our only enemy. But when countries like Pakistan Pakistan and possibly Iran are going to have nuclear weapons. Mutually assured destruction just doesn't work. So we're wasting 60 billion on nuclear weapons. But what we should have is a missile shield and developing technology to divert missiles into the ocean, which will make nuclear weapons obsolete. Right. You're anti-abortion. Do you want to criminalise abortion in all circumstances? No. No. No, we haven't. Not, not, not at all. Um, our policy basically is that people should have to look at alternatives. So everyone that is considering an abortion should have to consider the alternative of adoption. And we also believe that life should be protected from conception. So a fetus has rights, and rights not to suffer pain and to be abused. But would it be, a criminal, would it be a criminal offence, once people have considered those other options, to go ahead with an abortion? Well, it's a criminal offence at the moment. And uh, it's to, if you uh, kill a baby after 26 weeks, and uh, it's, it's quite right that that should be maintained, because a fetus should have rights. So, of course, there will be a criminal aspect to it. Absolutely. Right. You're strongly pro-Brexit. You see leaving the European Union as God's will? Um, everything we do is a matter of uh, asking God and talking to God. I, uh, one of the fundamentals of the Christian People's Alliance is Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. So absolutely we pray about everything that we put forward and we seek to only put forward things that are according to God's will. Absolutely. Right. Your policy is also to support marriage. Um, your current policy is to pay couples £10,000 to get married. How much will that cost? Well, the government have said that the breakdown of marriage is costing the nation 48 billion a year, so we're going to be saving an enormous amount by promoting marriage and promoting family stability. There will be an initial cost, mm. but how uh, much is it? Everything we're saying is, well, it depends how many people take it up. Right. But, I uh, mean, in 2014, there were 240,000 marriages in the UK, so it would cost two and a half billion pounds. Mm -hmm. um, it's quite a big price tag to well, force a social policy. One of our policies is for a turnover tax, which um, I read, was reading the Evening Standard only last week, and they were saying a turnover tax is a modern way of taxing people, and that turnover tax will raise far, far more than two and a half billion. We're right. talking about uh, substantial amounts of money, and we also want to use some of the turnover tax to offset against the uh, business business tax of, uh, of, of business property tax to make cities to revive city centres, which is important. Okay. But this is a modern way of taxing. It's interesting. Jeremy well, Corbyn. You describe talk, it as a modern way of taxing. Let me just let me just explain. J J Jeremy Corbyn uh, talks a lot about um, seeking to get tax off the rich from Google and Starbucks and Facebook that aren't paying it, but he's got no tax to do it. Right. They don't okay. Pay corporation let... tax because of, because of the double taxation rules. Is it... So we need a turnover tax which they will pay. Okay. We're the only it... party that's got a policy that's going to get money off these people. All right, let's talk a bit more about some of the, the social policies. Would it be fair to describe the Christian People's Alliance as anti-gay and anti-Islam? Of course not. Um, uh, you've asked me that before and I've answered it. Uh, we're not against the people, we stand for the, for the principles. And the principles, as far as homosexuality, homosexuality is, is concerned, we believe that we should protect marriage, which should be between a man and a woman, because it's there for children. Right. And homosexuality... But you don't see that as homophobic? 
Um, no, it's, it's, as far as we're concerned, it's about protecting children, and that's our priority. Now, as far as Islam is concerned, our policy is open debate. We want open debate in universities, in schools, in, in, in open debate on, the, on, on television. So right, but you've said it's a, a false religion, no, Islam. Me, let me understand. Let well, me no, but people you. need to know what you've said, just to put it in the context. You believe that Islam, or you said Islam, is a false religion. Is that still the case? I've spent ten years studying the Quran. I sure. know full well what it says. Right. The Quran says you should cut off the heads of disbelievers. As for those who disbelieve, uh, and, and, and it, it says, says you should kill disbelievers. And it also says that if in a woman you find disobedience, she should be beaten. Uh, and it also refers to uh, divorce for, for children that have not yet menstruated. So you still All these feel... things so in the you, Quran, which right. I find completely unacceptable. What do you say in response to listening to the manifesto being set out here by the Christian People's Alliance? One of the many things that makes me feel proud to be British is that LGBT people who have fought against oppression, persecution for many, many years, who were persecuted once in this country because of people like yourself, have driven your bigotry back. We now have rights. You hate us for the rights that we have. Rights which were, uh, as British citizens, that, are, that other people uh, take for granted. We love people just as straight people do. We want the same rights. We're not asking for privileges. We're not asking for special treatment. We just want the same rights as everybody else. Your bizarre assertion about marriage, when many hetero same-sex couples don't have kids, when many people aren't even capable, they're infertile, for example, they can't have kids, that somehow it's all about children, is frankly as disturbing as it is inaccurate. And as for your position on Islam... No, sir, many, no, 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 because you've made the point. You've had you've had... Before you go on to Islam... No, 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 Sydney, Sydney Cordell, let him finish and then you come back. You've already had something else. No, you've talked about Islam as well. You've already had the chance to spray your pathetic stream of bigotry over national television. Well, so have you. You were talking Hang on, let him finish and then... And when it comes... In the city of London, if you want to know... But but You're just making a fool out of yourself by the way. Before... making a total fool out of yourself. Sydney Cordell, I am... I am questioning here. Sydney Cordell, let him finish, because you made your statement well, about he's Islam, he's and let him finish. Being you may not like it. Insulting. You may not like it, but people might have found what you said very insulting. Let him finish. The Bible and every other religious document has some pretty unsavoury things anybody could quote, including about homosexuality, for that matter, but also about genocide and mass murder. There are millions of Muslims, like, for example, the mayor of this great city, London, who fought for the rights of LGBT people against the sort of bigotry that you represent, who believes in a secular democracy with equal rights for all. Right. And it is and you, people, on you that, a threat to this great democracy that millions of people have Sydney Corder, we do have to finish there because we're running I'm out sorry, of time on the programme. But no, because you said. had, you did have a very no, big that's, say. That's you did that. have a very big say so and we'll redress. you allowed this no. gentleman here and to you... insult me without giving me any right of reply. Right. That is and typical of the fake news from the BBC. No, and that's not fair, It is completely... It is totally... Totally fair, you can take this up afterwards. A right of reply. You have now, had a long said interview that we had a baker here. in Northern Ireland that wanted to bake a cake, refused to bake a cake, saying support gay marriage. And people said, sorry, you've got to bake it. People like Owen do not respect the no. views of Christians. Right. It's quality. I've let you he's, have your say. And it's not just a matter of Sydney. us respecting homosexuals, it's a matter of homosexuals respecting right. Christians. That's... That is also a key point. OK, now...